came across one of these in my house. An Android TV box. And I thought to myself, hmm, I could turn this into a mini PC. So after literally hours and hours of searching, <laughs> I could not find a firmware or operating system to run on it as a mini PC. And I managed to find <laughs> this program. This little program. Oh, it's literally amazing. So see, it's running off my Android TV box here. And you get to play all sorts of games in here. And it's amazing. Literally, everything runs perfect on it. Uh, yeah, so I won't actually be showing you how to install it onto your uh, Android TV box. But for mine, for my SM2 box, um, I use this version here. MU Elet Amlogic Arch 64 4.0 generic image and that's the one I use so get your get your SD card blank SD card I, I was going to use my 64 gigabyte SD card so I can fit more games but I managed to get I managed to get a hold of a 16 can't focus properly but no, 16 gigabytes one and so far I can <laughs> You know, it, it's good enough to fit all my games in it, all my favourite childhood games in it. Once you plug it in to the SM box or the Android TV box, it's going to boot straight from the SD card and not onto the Android TV. So I'm going to change my input now onto HDMI source instead of my display port. So this is solely coming from my uh, Android TV box. This comes up. So when you first boot into it, you won't have you won't have this uh, Nintendo DS, uh, Nintendo 64, Game Boy, Dreamcast. You won't have anything like that up because you need to transfer games onto it first. And there's already loads of instructions on YouTube and Wikipedia on how to you know, transfer ROM from your computer. To this SD card here but I just want to show you some games that I've been playing and it's it's truly amazing like I've been playing a uh, uh, Mario Kart Mario Kart that's really fine uh, Super Mario Brothers perfect perfect especially some Game Boy Advance games as well like it's just all nostalgic nostalgia basically um, Actually, I downloaded like 200 games. <laughs> I've yet to play them all. But no, like I can try out this GBA game. With my controller. Just a standard generic Xbox controller. <laughs> and you get to run it full screen. Everything is great. No problem at all, no problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, all this nostalgic coming back. It's amazing. No problem, running it at full speed. Epic, absolutely epic. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm playing this with one hand at the moment, but now you get the idea. It runs perfectly, and yeah, it's all em what's emulation. Emulation is all about. It's great. Oh, it's so hard to play with one hand. Oh, like so, like so, like so. And you can quit the game by pressing the hot key button or the Xbox button, and the start. And that quits the game and you get be treated with this menu again um, some Nintendo 64 games that I downloaded recently again I'm gonna test out Mario Kart that's my favorite <laughs> favorite childhood game
go detect my controller straight away. The only problem with Nintendo 64 is even though I set it up a 16 by 9 ratio, there's still black bars on the side ever so slightly, but you can't you you know you barely notice it anyways. And then I'm still playing with this control, it's amazing. Not a problem. <laughs> Nintendo 64 Android TV box. Again, playing it with one hand again. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Is this, is this nostalgic enough for you guys? It's all coming back to me now, isn't it? Right, again, you do the same thing to quit. Press the Xbox button and the start menu choice. It should quit the game straight away. Yeah. So, for my version of the Android TV box, running the S905W quad core CPU. Nintendo 64 games, NDS games, Game Boy Defense game, Dreamcast, all runs perfect. So don't ex but don't expect to run PS1 games and uh, PSP games because I tried it and it did it didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. Yeah, so I'm gonna be playing this for a while. Um, yeah, if you guys got any question how to set up, actually set up this system, let me know. But yeah, since I don't use Android TV anymore, I might as well boot straight from the SD card and play games. Why not? All right. See you guys next time. Goodbye.